welcome to yet another layout update by LNER Fan 4472. Now I am a bit under the weather, so if you have trouble understanding me, I do apologise. But um, there is one good thing about this video. This is the first layout update to be in full 720p HD. So make sure you watch it in 720p and be amazed. Uh, this Samsung camera, you know, it's not the best of cameras, but it gets the job done. It struggles to focus, as you can see but it gets there in the end. Look at that. Now if you compare that to the quality of previous layout updates, if you go into my Gresley North uh, playlist, you will see my well, some of my first ever videos being recorded with uh, just a normal digital camera to take photographs and the quality was terrible. <laughs> There's no other word for it. It was absolutely terrible. Anyway, moving on from specs of my old camera um, the layout has been progressing very little recently, for I have been away making the most of the holidays, and uh, but I have managed to get some work done. As you can see, I've fitted another electrofog point because all that bit is metal there, and we've got our insulating fish plates here. Remember, the plastic from here is carried on over to here. That's the only difference with electrofog. So you just have to provide a feed here, a feed here, which I've done, and a feed over there. You can put them both together, but I've just spaced them all out so I don't end up melting the sleepers like I've done here. If you can, the camera will focus, you can see I've melted a sleeper with the soldering iron. Better the sleeper than my arm. Now, as you can see, I had to improvise um, to run in my locomotives. Uh, I do not have a rolling road as of yet. It's a bit expensive, it's about £60. So as you can see, I've improvised using platform pieces. I've put one on the front buffer beam. I've put one on one of the side steps and the same on the other side. And I'm just going to leave it like that for about half an hour, 15 minutes, and then I'll change direction. And then the next locomotive will have a go. She's very, very underused as in this castle. She was stuck in the siding for God knows how long. And um, she's an absolutely gorgeous loco. I think I might do a re-review on her since I've got this new camera. I could do re-reviews on just about everything now, since I've got this better camera. So yeah, that's how to run in your locomotives without paying for a 60 quid rolling road. Now, other things, the cork underlay. Uh, most model railway users, or novices, or rookies, shall we say, don't really know about cork underlay and what it does. Basically, what cork underlay does, it raises the track to a realistic level and it absorbs most of the sound created by the locomotives so you don't get a massive tsh when you're running about five odd locomotives on the tracks you know there still will be some sound but it'll uh, take it away to the point where you won't be able to hear much of it and you'll be able to hear the you know that noise we all love that's why I've left deliberate spaces in the rails so I can get a bit of that noise However, when the locomotives will be going around in a full circle, I'm not too sure. Because me, I'm not a very good carpenter. And uh, I cannot make two helixes. And with all this stuff underneath as well that belongs to my stepfather, you know, also gets in the way a little bit. But hopefully, I hope to have um, a fiddle yard, or just a board that runs underneath so the trains can go in a circle uh, within the next two years. That's what I'm hoping anyway, because it's been years, well not years, months should I say, and before these locomotives will run in circles again. That's why, you know, all they can do now is just run backwards and forwards. And you know, them not running, just sitting there in the cold doesn't do them any good. Don't worry guys, you'll get your fiddle yard soon enough. And you'll be going 126 miles an hour before you know it. Once again guys, I apologise for the long absence, it's due to me going down to London to see my beautiful girlfriend and of course King's Cross and St Pancras. Oh my god, they are absolute works of art. Now if any of you have been to King's Cross a couple of years back, if you go now you will see the massive differences. What they've done is they've built a massive concourse on the side, uh, a dome if you like, half a dome and um, the massive green canopy which made um, King's Cross iconic you could say uh, that's all been ripped down and they're building a plaza but, um, and St Pancras 
Jesus Christ, it, pardon my language, it's a work of art, it really is. Gorgeous station, I can't wait to go again. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, apologies for the long absence once again. Uh, I will be churning out more videos in the future, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. See you later guys.